Today again, Syntropic Growers from Pink Tree Organic Farm. Now just a note on tilling and cover crops between your alley rows. So we've gone the shallowest depth that we can and we've only gone over once or twice. So we don't really want to go too deep, we're just producing a seed bed with the rotary tiller. And as you can see, I've completed that task. It was looking pretty good. So just on why we're choosing the seeds that we're choosing for our alley crops. The frost will be over in end of August. But until then, the loosened vetch and oats will go pretty well. So we'll get it up about above our knee or higher if we can with irrigation. And then we hope to flick it into the centre and plant into that. Now the idea is that this will be the last time we ever till on this plot. And I've known for a long time that till and kill is not the way to go if you want to preserve your soil structure and regenerate soil in an agroforestry system or any, any other cropping system for that matter. So for the cover crops on the central rows, we've used more woody weeds. So for example, we put in pigeon pea and lacania, or lacania, or however you like to pronounce that. Luckily, the lacana seeds are free alongside the row, they're everywhere. Uh, the pigeon pea we had to buy, a little hard to get, but you can order it. So they're leguminous and they'll put nitrogen in and assist our target crop or species that we planted in there. And we've also planted elephant grass under the mulch too, because we hope to uh, cut that down on a regular basis for more mulch. But in the center, it's a little different. This is a crop that we will be mowed initially and flicked to the center and we hope to plant ginger or some other crop in there inside into the mulch. And why wouldn't we till that center row? Uh, hopefully the lucerne will send, we'll do it for us. So for example, we're led to understand lucerne puts roots down at least two meters. So that'll help with drainage and percolation of water and so on. Now our cover crops here for our alley crop rows will be a mixture of oats, sorghum, vetch and lucerne. Now we'll get a heavy biomass that we can use to make a central row for which we want to plant into. Now conversely, you have the option of side casting this to your tree rows when they're getting light on mulch as well. Now why do we choose lucerne? Lucerne, we're taught or told at the rural shop, can survive for up to seven years. And it puts down roots very, very deeply. It's a nitrogenous plant as well, it's a legume and the hay has a very high sugar content which plants love as a mulch. Bars are very expensive to buy so it's worth planting this. If you can get two cuts a year, you're doing very well I think. The bag is expensive. It's about $360 I paid for that bag and you pay more for bare seed. But we can't use the fungicide treated seed on an organic farm. So we hope for the one planting, we'll get numerous cuts for at least several years or more. And so that's economical in terms of growing your mulch on site and saving you a lot of time and energy chasing other mulch around or buying it in. So I hope that helps. Um, just in one last note in terms of irrigation, uh, we like these sumi soakers. They're just like a, a large lay flat and they go 50 metres and they'll put a spray out four metres each side, which is absolutely ideal for these alley crops. So we'll plant that in, we've, put, we've cast that seed in now, we'll just rake it over and we'll put the irrigation out and we'll make another film in 
a couple of months and have a look at how it's going. So signing out for video number four from Fig Tree Organic Farm.